So I had to work in the morning for about six hours. Then I went to do outreach downtown Cincy for about three hours, had an amazing time. Came to Kings Island, got in line for Orion, ran into this weirdo. Don't um, I'm hurting right now, it's not yeah. working. I'm just... Yeah, he broke Orion and yeah. it was this idea to ride this I, first. I, I really needed a part for so, my Razor scooter, so I took it off the we're, we're starting off our day waiting. So Gavin is back everyone. It's been two years since yeah. we went to Cedar Point together. Which is insane. We both had busy, crazy lives, but yeah. it's gonna be a, a fun night. And that is why I'm vlogging, because he is in it. Yeah, it's on the King's Island special, right? Yes. <laughs> well, they're evacing, so that's cool. Why is that? Because I evac people from things. Oh gosh. <laughs> For this though. Whoa, we're on the fast lane side, but we're going the wrong way. Oh, we're so fast. Gavin's making me ride Banshee. In Banshee, I trust. It was so good earlier. I, it was nuts, but trust me, if if uh, it's not good. I don't know, but it, it will be. Gavin said if I don't like this, he's going to buy me a hot dog at the Reds game tomorrow. That's a $20 investment. Yeah. I don't know if I said it earlier, but if I didn't, we're going to a Reds game tomorrow, so. All right. Well, it looks like I'm buying my own hot dog tomorrow because that was actually one of the better rides. Oh, my. That was one of the better rides on Banshee I've ever had. It it's so actually, good. it's pretty rough. I read in, rode in row eight. I can't English today, but just so fast and really, really intense today. It was today. powerful, like it was bone crushing and powerful. <laughs> I think the last time we were at Cedar Point was the day I was like, actually Raptor's ahead now. And now I'm like, Banshee may have shot all the way back up from dead last, really high up again. I, I, that, today has put it over Raptor for me. I can't explain it, it's running so good today. So it's like BMM coasters, all of them are just very bipolar, I think. I Honestly, that's probably a good description. All right, so me and Gavin just got funnel cakes. I haven't had funnel cakes here in forever. I mean, I got the inner camera on, so sorry if this is shaky, but very delish. Just an original. He's got some fancy apple pie one. But, um, look, it's leaving. It's leaving. He, he didn't know there was a train here, and this is like his fourth visit here. You know, because at Cedar Point, it's always in the way. It goes through everything. I, this one's hidden. I've never seen it. I've never even heard it, actually. Actually, it's funny. It's, I didn't know that there's this... We're right by the train in this picnic area, but there's this one lone table back here that I had no idea existed, and I love it. It's like right under Diamondback's drop here, and right by the train. It's so cool. So the sun is shining very, very bright and vibrant right now, as you can see. And I want to share something with you guys. If you guys follow my YouTube channel, you guys know that this, or a very similar angle of Diamondback, is my banner. And I want to give a little bit of an explanation as to why. In Genesis 1, God created light, the heaven, and all the universe. And in Genesis 3, God crushed the head of the serpent. So when we were coming up with all of the channel designs and artwork, we figured, what if we used light to crush the head of the snake, as Satan was? So it's kind of an allegory to Genesis 1 through 3. So yeah, in case you're ever wondering about that, there's that. It's very rare that you see the sun actually hitting Diamondback's sign so bright and vibrantly because it really lets those colors pop and especially that reflection on the letters. I just absolutely love it. We've been waiting for like maybe 35 minutes. Gavin broke the last B and then we heard, so let's hope this one doesn't break. It's too busy. I got the snake head. Got My the forehead snake head. looks huge. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> we just got off Diamondback. How was yeah. that ride? 10 out of 10. The airtime though, what the heck? Yeah, like you said, the trims didn't hit. And I got a huge pop of ejector dropping down into the um, splashdown. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. No, literally, 
That is the biggest ejector moment on the return trip I've ever had, was that coming out of the helix right into the splashdown. And I've done this ride so many times, but I promise, that was the best it's ever hit. That's, yeah, that was my best diamond back ride, 100%. But row, literally. Row 15, right? Yeah, row 15. Yeah. So maybe row 15 might be a magic seat I want to test out now, but the trims were entirely off, but they just hit a little bit. They usually hit more, so really good. They're out of lemonade again. So you know what that means? Fruit punch, because it's amazing. Where'd you come from? Yeah. I was looking that way, you were just here. All right, Gavin, you've never rode this in the front row since it's been retracked, and I want you to experience this insane ejector here. Are you excited? I am. I am. I, I don't know how it's gonna do it because it's. You all right? Yeah, I'm getting yeah. the angles. I because the first ride I had, I didn't really get anything. It's just it was smooth. So I believe you. I feel like I, I have faith. Like you had faith in Banshee. I guess I'll buy him a hot dog if he doesn't like it. Oh, I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! <laughs> He hates it already. Crap. It's over. I gotta buy the hot dog. It's my final time right there. Front row stuff, racer. Man. What do you think? Good stuff, man. I like that. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. I don't have to buy him a hot dog tomorrow. So we're even now. Yeah. Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, whoa. That's super cool. Dude, this is nuts. Bro, that is so cool. What? <laughs> That's so cool. Whoa! That's so cool. That's so cool. I want to become a poster logo so bad. Yes! Oh, All right, so not gonna lie, I really overlooked that drone and fireworks show. I thought it was gonna be just a little added feature and it was really awesome. In fact, me and Gavin both agree, it felt more like a drone show with fireworks than a fireworks show with drones. Yeah. And it was really cool. Obviously, uh, I'll keep the best like parts of it. I think they just shot off another one? Huh? That must be a leftover. <laughs> but uh, no, it was really awesome. And uh, you guys definitely need to get out here and check out that drone show for yourself because I can promise you that video does not do it justice. It hurt my brain, I feel like. My, I couldn't understand what was going on because it looks so I will so say it's a little bit more slow paced though. Like there was gaps in between where I'm like, are they done or what? But yeah, it was pretty good. I, I need a Star Wars reference, Kings Island. <laughs> yeah, we need to... Cedar Fair's got to buy Disney. Two hours Why later! We finally made it. We're in row eight. What'd you call it? Robber knob? <laughs> the rot knob. It's not really the rot knob, obviously, but. I'm a little bit sleep deprived. The robber knob is the funniest thing ever. That, we're really uh, slap happy, and right now, the name Glub Shadow from Star Wars <laughs> is starting <laughs> All right, I've done it three or four times redone now, and that was by far the fastest ride I've had on it yet. The trims hit a little bit, but not near as hard as it had the previous rides. It was ridiculously fast. Still my number one in the park now that it's redone, and uh, Gavin stole the show for you, didn't it? It did, it really did. You know, my brain is mush probably from the four hours of sleep and the 13 hours in the park but it might have been from the beast and that's a good thing when you get internal brain damage from a coaster i think that means it's number one 
internal brain damage. That was the smoothest ride of the day. <laughs> Literally so good. It was also really nice and chilly out. Like, it's actually low key cold. It was, right like, now. It was like. It was like very cold and I was shivering and I think that just added to it because the feeling of hypothermia made me think I was gonna die and then it was scarier. Yes. It was so good. Am I making sense right now? I think I'm making no. sense. We're both really slap happy. Even though I haven't been here that long, I've been up that long and it's been a long day. Like I said at the beginning of the video, six hours of work, going to outreach for like three hours and coming straight here, I've been up all day. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up at Kings Island for the night. But if you think we're done, we're heading back to the apartment because he's staying the night at my place. And we're going to a Reds game tomorrow, surprise. And that's gonna be included in this vlog. Go Tigers. So uh, <laughs> I didn't tell you this earlier, but we decided that since Hollywood Nights is going on and Coaster Mania is going on, we're gonna call this weekend Cincinnati Nights with the boys. The beautiful, beautiful city that Cincinnati is. Sponsored by the man Glove Shit himself. He paid for the tickets. Yes. Glove Shit has sponsored it. He's actually starting tomorrow. Yes. Glove Shit. Approximately 10 hours later. Uh oh. Brought a Tigers fan to a Reds game. They're winning against the Yankees. Don't give it to me right now. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have no idea what the Reds are going to do, but I'm super excited. First game of the year for me. Hopefully not the last either. And let's see what happens. A few minutes later. All right, we just got in the ballpark. Here's my ticket. But look, they are passing out Hunter Green posters. So that's pretty sweet too. There's literally a Almost no one here. So I didn't really talk about the whole game much, but uh, we're playing the Nationals today, and uh, they don't have Bryce Harper anymore, thank God. I know that was two years ago, but they do have one Soto, and he is kind of scaring me right now, especially with all these Reds new pitchers. Thankfully, the best arm we have left starting, which is Luis Castillo, is on the hill today. So he's 2-2 two two with a 330 ADR, right? It could be a good game. It could be a bad one. But nonetheless, I'm excited to be back. As I showed before, awesome seats with another, you know, he's not even a Reds fan, Tigers fan, man, and a Cubs fan. Yes, when he wanted to check out the park, I said, I'll go with you because I want to watch a game. But the Reds have been hitting really well lately, and I have high hopes for today. The last time I came and seen the Reds, they beat the Cubs like 12 to 3, I think, and Vado got his 2,000th hit that night, so... Hopefully that mojo can continue to this season and we'll get away. Was it slightly expensive? Absolutely. But I couldn't resist a Reds hot dog. They're so good. Not gonna lie, I've seen their lineup and I'm a little nervous about seeing Juan Soto, Nelson Cruz, and Josh Bell hit back to back to back three, four, and five. Especially in this launch pad of a ballpark. But hopefully Castillo's on today. It's gonna be a good one. We're right, underway. Starting off the game with a six pitch walk. All right, we got two strikes on him. Oh no. That's going to score both runs. Josh Bell's going on the second. And we're at 22 pitches already. Good lord. All right, first pitch of the game. Nick Senzel comes in with a 208 average and ends up getting a single right up the line. We'll take it. On a one and one count, Senzel steals second base successfully. There we go. So we got a man in scoring position. Let's get him home. Tommy Pham gets a double on a full count. And then Senzel rounds third and scores. And Vado's up with one gone. It's a 2 1 game. Let's go. Let's go, Joey. Joey Vado ties the game with a double. Let's go. Here's the replay. Tyler Stevenson gets a double. What is going on? The Reds are up 3-2. Let's go. Yes. Instant offense. Oh, 
Farmer lined out, but we got this lucky play over here that ended up keeping the inning alive. It should be scored a hit. Two outs with two guys on. All hell's broken loose here in the top of the fourth quarter. A couple errors, a couple hits. And next thing we know, it's four to three. And the Nats have two outs and the guy on first. Man, that sucks. A couple innings have gone by and it's been a pretty dry game ever since that one uh, breakdown in the top of the fourth. Right now we're in the top of the sixth, but um, something funny. Over here in the seat, there's a hot dog that's just been sitting here for like an hour and it's calling my name and I don't think anyone's gonna claim it, so. I might actually eat it. All right, make it a 5-3 game because Franco on the first pitch he sees just absolutely clubs it out in the deep left. <laughs> I knew he would do some damage. All right, we're in the top of the seventh. Uh, not much has changed. They let Castillo run into 110 pitches. He only got one out, but he also gave up a single and a walk, and then they pulled him, so... We're relying on Art Warren to get us out of the jam right now because he's warming up down there. And uh, let's hope that we can get into their bullpen and do some damage. But we got to get out of this jam first. It's not looking too pretty right now. Seven bucks. So. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks or free hot dogs. If I ever get back, cause it's rude, rude, rude for the Red Legs. They don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes around at the old ball game. Yeah. Now let's win. All right, nothing was happening for a while, but now we're in the bottom of the eighth. Nobody out. The first pitcher got injured, so we got a new one in. And we got two guys on base with follow up. Oh, that sucks. Tyler Stevenson's got two hits so far, so he has a chance to go two for five right here. And we got a runner on third, so if there's any good thing, there's a base hit gets a run home. Come on, Ty. There we go! Three hit game! There's one back! Let's go! Kyle Farmer is 0 for 4 so far today, but he's got a chance at getting a run home. Hopefully, with a double. All right, come on, farm dog. Oh, there we go! Get down, get down! No, dang it. All right, we gotta hold them, and then we gotta score at least one run. Walk it off. Literally. We could see some walk-off action, but it's down to the bottom of the order too, so who knows. All right, we kept them off the board. Now we got to do is score at least one run to tie it, and two runs will win the game. The Reds now have reinforcements with that rally cap from Gavin. Abraham Elmore comes up in the ninth, gets us a five-pitch walk. Nobody out. Moose is up against a lefty, and he's due for some damage. Now let's see what happens. My heart is racing out of my chest. Come on, Moose. Oh, no. That is... Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. One out, one guy in first. Come on, can we please get a hit? All right, Alejo Lopez, I believe he's a rookie. There's a hit! Get down, get down, get down, get down! No! Dang it, two gone. It has come down to Nick Senzel here in the bottom of the ninth. He got a hit to start out the game. And I would love for him to get another one. And here's the 3-1 pitch. Ball. Oh. All right. So the runner on first base is going to be moving. It's a full count with two outs. All right. This is going to be an interesting finish here. Oh, that's disgusting. That's what they called the second strike. It's that third one right there. Wow. All right, once again, full count. Runner's gonna be in motion. Two outs. Oh, hold me. 
He hits it fair. Run it out. Run it out. Yeah, safe. Let's go. Yes. Let's see if they look at it. That's a very close play. Are they going to look at this? Uh-oh. We got a meeting. We got a meeting here. Oh, right. This is football. I forgot. Yeah, he's safe. Safe right there. Looks good to me. This is this angle right here. He's safe. He is safe. He's got to be safe. The runner's safe. The runner's safe. Let's go. Brandon Jury is due up in the bottom of the ninth, and we got the crowd chanting, "Let's go, Brandon! Let's go!" <laughs> Walk off action? Question mark. He's due to do some damage. He's got one hit so far today. All right, here comes 01. That's how you lose? That's how you lose? What? That's how it ends. I think we're gonna get another challenge here. Another challenge? What is going on? Cincinnati to challenge the Alpha on Thursday. Oh! Too close to call. He missed the tag? There is hope. There is hope. Here's the call for the game. Wow. Wow. He really missed that too. That's how it ends here in Cincinnati. What a shame. How do you get 13 hits in a game and lose? All right, so we made it back to our car. I'm still salty. How do you end a game like that? But uh, what'd you think? It's baseball, man. The Reds are bad. They really are, and I'm a Tigers fan. <laughs> Both the Reds and the Tigers lost five to four today. Yeah, well, that's hilarious, isn't it? Yes, but uh, yeah. What do you think about Great American? Best part? I, it's my favorite park. Yeah, it is. It's definitely up there, and I've only been to two parks. Only other park I've been to is the Trap. But yeah, this is going to conclude Cincinnati nights with me and Gavin. I gotta go back to my apartment, drop him off, and he's got to go back to Detroit, sad face. Detroit. But I'll be down here. I got to go to church tonight, so my busy weekend continues. But it's been a blast, and whew, I'm still recovering from the heat, so my brain's like foggy. 